What's up guys? It's Brian Mike here. And we are back in some more Slay the Spire Downfall of Runa. Going in with the Guardian this time. Let's see what we can do. See if we can get something fun a brewing. Alright, talk. Give me the bucket. Even though I don't think we've done too much bucketing, it's still nice to have some of those cards. Some of them are very good, depending on the strategy we're playing. There's also a very good path right through here. Early, uh, yeah. Take this one. Early shop. Get that going. Um, Wind Slam is pretty good. Good two damage card. Uh, this will be a strength, usually, hypothetically. Strength is pretty good here. Eagle card early on, though. I'm gonna remove two for eight max. Get out of the strike and a defend early. Makes it like pretty consist consistent and whatever you pick up here will feel very good. Also allows us to get back to our um, Twin Slam, which is the card we want to see in the deck. Um, that's not going to help. The Twin Slam here. Place for, oh, this place is a card in the Stasis now too. I forgot about that. I think we're just going to go double defend. Hit him with that Twin Slam. Go through. I was really hoping we could get into defensive mode. Would have equaled a ton of damage um, over the course of his attack, but alas, it was not meant to be. But we did finish up with a good high power hand. Almost down to 350, but I can't complain when we have not had any cards yet. Ward here. Ooh, Dream is pretty good. I think I'll re-extract again though. Take one here. Oh, this is the... Whenever this card is exhausted, gain two intangible. Whenever this card is played, deal 14 damage. I don't have any way to exhaust it yet, so I don't think we're going to take it. But that one is better than some of the other... Um, than the other invisible card. Ancient power decks, random power artifact. Cost one less. It cost one less. I think that's better than Harden, which is super, um... Well, this one does gain you thorns, though. If you have, but it's not temporary thorns, which is good. That's a hard one. I mean, I could be tempted, but... While in defense mode, at the start of your turn, brace three. Well, that's also pretty good. Let's actually get that. I didn't realize it's every turn you brace three. Um, which pairs with our gear... Oh no, that doesn't. They've changed gear. Interesting. Two stasis slots is interesting. Bronze armor is also very good. Place the curse in the stasis at eight block and strength volatile. Hmm. Yeah, upgrade on this one again. It cost one. Army just wants to go with the removal again. This is a power, so I think we'll, we'll get rid of another defend the deck pretty small the only problem i'm seeing here and it is a pretty severe one is we have elites coming up and we don't have a lot of damage so we're going to really be looking for an attack card here biker twin slam on you get you done oh it does not that was misused damage i should have put that on the back one technically overall one damage here block here All right, reward. Torch Girl's pretty good, considering it. Exhaust a lot. If you play two cards of the same type in a row, I don't have a draw one card. I don't know if this is considered an attack. I think I'm gonna go Torch Girl for just hot. We just said we needed damage, so I like that one. Your draw pile. You may put one into stasis. Actually, pre-program is good too. We could keep cycling Scorch Girl and get it free. Uh, it also negates the effect of us not playing it. Uh, random common relic. The battleship. Not bad. Not as good in downfall as it is in the base game. All right, Spiker Protocol is pretty good here. Let's just go with the simple, simple one block. We got to get our brace up anyway, so take a little damage here. There, this is from the draw pile too. Unfortunate. Uh, Scorch Girl. That's 
free program, it does set them all back. Um, we'll put the strike in there. Oh, we are one. Is it at the end of the turn or the beginning? At the start of your turn. That sucks. Okay. Unfortunately, we are just going to take a big chunk of damage here. We are in defensive no mode now, so that's nice. Um, Scorch Girl here. Program. Throw that up there. And we'll hit them again. So far, our pre program has not been the most favorable. But we probably can get it here. I throw that up there. Um, curl up is 10. I just kind of want to. Oh, we have 30. Why am I worried? Um, place a random card in stasis. Not necessary. And this fight is over. Okay. This one, when this card is, uh, when this card is played, increases cost by one. Not placed, reduces cost by one. Just increase by eight. Blah 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 blah. blah. And this card, is, if this card is two or more. Five regen. There's three added burn to your draw pile. Cost is three, reduces cost is zero. Feather of Honor. I don't think I've gotten that, so let's try to complete that. See if we can get Feather of Honor here. Also, Ceramic Fish is early enough where this could matter. Um, overall, Hyper Beam seems pretty good. I don't think we'll have the strength to like make it crazy, but I don't feel like we're going to add a lot of gems. Um, and if we do get some strength gain, it could be really good. Uh, I don't have Sapphire Key. Like here. Here, Hyper Beam would be great. So, pre, uh, put Scorched up there. And let me read this again. I, I, I need to make sure I understand this card completely. It's when we don't play it, right? It's played, increases, no, we want to play it. Increases cost by one. Okay. So, play Fiery Bird. Ow. Yep, they both take four. We are going to take 14 here. I think. No, if I curl up, I'm going to take... Seven, and then he's gonna. Oh no, they both go through before we. I wish the the curl up defensive mode interrupted. That'd be good. Thirty six, thirty six. I mean, overall, this skips our next turn though, which is fine actually. So, yeah, because this one's dead. This one doesn't attack next turn. He hurts himself. Turn skip. Now it's his turn again to attack. Which girls here? Let me play it. Pretty good to me. Um, Fragment of the Universe is good. Happy Flower is awesome. Very good one. Uh, Primary Shot's pretty good. Uh, I, I like the Brace. Place a card from your discard pile into Stasis is also real good. I think that's actually even better. You have a lot of high cost cards. Remove a card, gain a random gem. Sure. Let's remove a basic strike. Got a ruby, and then we'll add a gem to a socket. Put this in Twin Slam. Sure. Overall, we recru re reduced our deck size by one. Words were hard there for a second, if you could not tell. All right, program. Let's slap Hyper Beam up in there. Protocol with Thorns. We're going to take eight damage. We do need some more defensive options here. Yeah, that hurts. Uh, I don't think I'll play Firebird. If anything, I'm going to curl up here. This does it straight to my max HP, I think. And this fight should not go that long. Uh, put a discard pile into stasis. It shouldn't end up mattering here. Happy flower this turn. There's Scorch Girl. That ends it. Okay, nothing there. Ooh, there's Quartz. Quartz is very good. I'm also tempted by Ancient Attack. It doesn't give you an artifacting every turn like I would like, but it's fairly good. I think Quartz, though, will end up being better. Oh, okay. This one's always scares me because I always go a little heavier. Upgrade, be upgrade, and of a higher rarity. That's pretty good. Enemies with weak. No, we're not weakening. Heal that much HP at the start of our turn. Uh, 
overall, it's definitely aluminum foil. Parts tend to be upgraded. I'm gonna take it. It's risky here, and I'm actually going to circumvent that question mark. Let's break the sapphire key here. Let's enhance. Get a card out of our deck. That's a twin slam. Very good. Uh, and then I'm gonna go for the rest. I'm liking what we're doing. I'm seeing the potential. The numbers are are flashing in my brain. But overall, we still have a little bit to do to get done. All right. Uh, Fiery Bird could be good here, but they don't have enough HP to make it worth it. I think we go this. Ooh, Squirt Girl actually finishes it. I hope this doesn't decimate me with damage. It does not. Was worried a little bit there, though. Reward. The curse. I like that. Let's do a behavioral adjustment. We don't usually take that one either. All right. Um, no. Those are fine. Orb walk, quick roll, reroute. Until you play this turn into stasis. Stock it. Reroute's pretty good. Getting stuff into stasis does not bother me that much. Okay. Um. Back a protocol here. Oh, I need to be able to play this too. Okay. I wish I would have done that differently. I should not have played Spiker Protocol, honestly. Uh, it ended up being okay. Curl up here is good. Reroute and then play this. And that does get. I was curious if that would get rerouted up top. I guess technically if I would have hit him, he would be dead here, but ends up being fine. Okay. Here's pass. Each time play plays this card in the stage, increase card damage by three. Ooh. I like you. I like a lot. But also armor protocol is really good too. I think I want that more. Because I need more brace. Like if I'm gonna be able to play these, I need them to be good. Porch girl's good. Throw this up here too. We'll reroute. A defend. I'm gonna take a little bit here. Uh, it was almost worth using a fire potion. Not quite. Okay. So currently, what I'm needing is an incentive to play my. Um... I can't do it anymore. Um, an incentive to play my powers. I'm going to end up getting a lot of them if I want to continue this. Like, uh, getting bracing like protocol. I need an incentive. Ooh, we are bleeding. I don't like that. Board all, reprogram five. They're doing 16. Go ahead and slap a reroute up there. Go ahead and fiery bird too. Ended up working out. I did not want me later. Crumbling armor, I was tempted, but I don't think we have enough healing yet. Basic protocol. There's another one. Those are the ones I'm looking for. Right, there's Scorch Girl. This is a bad hand, honestly. So why are we starting with an additional energy? Like, is it Happy Flower and we're just been timing it like an expert? Scorch Girl. Protocol. Fragment. Okay. Uh, yeah, pre-program. Ugh. Throw a spiker up there. Recover here. Porch girl. I don't want to run into a, a ability where I cannot play that. Not too much block here, which is unfortunate. Alright, sorry. Wife interrupted. Um, armor protocol. I think I curl up here? No, we saved that. And the question, I think we play fire. Well... We don't do Fiery Bird because I don't think during the course of this fight we'll have enough max HP to do it. I think it'll kill us. Okay. And there we go. We're going to reset there. Biker Protocol. There's Hyper Beam. Throw the Defend up there. Not actually what I wanted. Uh, Hyper Beam's 36. 21 coming in. We'd skip our next turn. 
With no defense, I don't think I can risk that. Okay, there's Scorch Girl. We're taking one for something. Oh, we have a burn in our deck. Gotcha. And that, the behavior adjustment just goes straight to my HP. Interesting. Uh, throw the Scorch Girl back up there. Seems like the correct move. And I guess if I would have Hyper Beam, that would have been the right move. He's not attacking this turn, but I was not sure. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Okay, but Hammer Adjustment can just kill you if you can't draw into... Or draw a card. Yeah, if you just keep drawing into Curses and Statuses, you just die. Throw that up there. Get that out of my, my hand. Um, Hyper Beam is not enough to kill you. The fan, but I think we're fine. Let's do it. Oh, I can just do this. We got five because our HP is so low. I kept that in mind. I guess that works really well. Um, we'll perform twice on the socketed. 30 block and 30 brace is pretty good. I don't think I'm going to be adding gems, so I don't think that'll be the right way to go. Thinking about it, I think here we're going to go with Spheric Shield. Already upgraded. It's a, a high, like, block and brace kind of card. Kind of sets up that. And we can throw it in stasis and do it for free. Oh, I guess I'm taking Coffee Dripper here. I don't really want to. But I feel like we can get some other healing to offset that just a little bit. All right. I'm adjusted here. Okay. Shopkeep, not bad. Uh, we're going over here. I also want to get that that thing of honor. So I actually shopkeep. I need like a long form fight. We'll try it anyway. This seems like a good path anyway. Lots of question marks, a bunch of rest. Late line, elite. We can get some cards upgraded. Uh, Smith here. Did these become innate? No, they, they, I wish their brace went up more. Does this do more cards here? Reprogram? Yeah, that's seven cards. That's going to be a little better. Or a little nicer overall. Or kind of this like cheating out thing we're kind of doing here. Reprogram. Scorch Girl. Biker Protocol. Um, Defend. Recovered. Reprogram is actually pretty nice. And again. Alright. Fiery Bird. Ow. Ow. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going for it here if I can. Curl up here. Reprogram. Reroute. Just to get stuff up in here. Stay Spherical Shield. Let's not hurt him anymore. Okay. Uh, armor Protocol. Oh, I already reset. I should have recovered first, I guess. So, I have no idea. I, this draws me a card, so I'll try that. There we go. Defend. Recover. Defend. Oh, error. Alright, 12. Eh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. So I had to play the Scorch Girl. Or reset it back into my hand. Defend. Um, Fiery Bird. Now it's one. Reprogram. Uh, defend, maybe. Recover. Fiery Bird for one. I have to wait two turns. Got plenty of block here though. That's 24. How much does this do to me if I don't play it? I can't reset it into my hand. Deal 30 damage to ourselves. Ugh. I can curl up though. I'm not gonna play it. Okay. And we're still fine. Curl up again. No block here, though. That kind of sucks. Oh, I got 16 blocks, so let's just play curl up. Defend. And do I really want to draw a card? Not really. I'm waiting on Fiery Bird next turn. Ow, we're bleeding. Does that count? Can't tell if that did anything. Recover. Puts it back up there. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's like super powerful now. All right, we just need to get it. Wait four more turns. So we're going to prepare as much block as I can. 
And let's get curl up like resetting up here. Right. A spherical shield. Oh, he's doing a bunch of damage here. So we will spheric shield one away and just kind of wait. I'm hoping this just doesn't like immediately kill us or something. That'd be kind of sad. Then we'll curl up, we'll defend. All right. We have 60 health. Boom. Didn't do anything. Why is it? It's like super flame. I guess we'll try to recover it again. It's four now. Do I have to be like so low on my health? I don't remember. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna play. All right, there's three out of burn. Reduce the cost to zero. When it costs three. So I might actually have to wait and not put it in stasis. I might have messed it up doing it that way. Curl up, defend. Huh. That's a weird, like, card. Uh, throw this in here. Defend, recover. Free program. Can't do it. Um, I don't want to take 12. It's going to be zero. I'll try it one more time here. I'm taking damage for this. Lock. All right, curl up. Defend. All right, hold. Oh, he killed himself. That sucks. I didn't think about it. He was every time he hit me, he was doing more damage. The no oh well. Well, keep it in mind, maybe not to to do it. I don't think I can get it. I can't get it out in this many turns. Overall, we just want to put this up here. I could hyper beam and then recover it back. Overall, let's go ahead and throw the soul burn. Um, race three. I won't get a turn next turn. That's worth it later. Okay. Let's see. There's Fear Shield. I mean, that gets us into race territory. There's the thorns we wanted. And play that. Oh, seven times. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. job. All right, none of these protocols matter. All that matters is the amount of damage we can slap him with. There's Scorch Girl. That'd be a good amount of damage. And Hyper Beam and Twin Slam. This is a powerful turn here. And yeah, I mean, we got him down. Down below uh, 200. Plus, we got plenty of money left, actually, here. Uh, no, I think I'm good here. A fractal bleeding plus one. Yeah. Fix all of these otherwise brace. I think I'm good. No, I'm thinking. They were interesting, but not nothing I can't live without. Ooh, grinning jars kind of tempting here. Each combat starts with two player turns. Two enemy. Oh. Weird. Very weird. Uh, GIF is also very good. Well, it's peanut butter, but it says GIF. Uh, but I think Grinning Jars, I need to get cycled through my deck a little faster. I think that's good. Confirm. And then we'll remove a card. Basic Strike, get out of here. Because overall, to complete the thing I'm trying to complete, I need to cycle my deck. Uh, this is... Mimic's got a lot of health. You might actually be able to... Do stuff. Crawl, there's the other grinning jar. Go ahead and crawl up first. Alright, spherical shield, that's fine. Towards girl. And. Alright. Fiery bird, there's one. Armored protocol. Recover. Throw that back up there. Reprogram. Spike protocol. 
Man, right, we're at 20, but still. Ow. Um, double defend here. See if we can get what we want. Alright. Boop. Okay. Spirit shield. Spike protocol. Burning jar. Treasures are kind of hurting us here. That's fine. Cover. Put that back in there. Okay. 72 block. Not bad. Um. Throw up. Program there. Um, I mean, I kind of want to just let Scorch Girl hit me. I don't really want to do 23 damage to him. He is doing damage to himself, though. Fairly quickly. Ow. Program. Give me Curl Up. Put that in there. Gonna recover a pre-program. And... Alright, let him be. Fiery Bird again. Ow, 16. We're getting there. Getting to the damage cards. Cover. Uh, throw a grinning jar in there, actually. We already played one. Reprogram. I think I'm gonna naturally cycle to the fiery bird now. 18. Oh my gosh, this dude's about to hit me. Ugh. I mean, feeling's good and all, but starting to, to hurt a little bit. All right, curl up. 22, 22. Okay, it worked. We healed the full. It looks like our max HP went down by 20, as it said it would. Upon pickup, whenever you enter a rest site, heal all your HP. You no longer lose max health when you play a three cost fiery bird. No longer deal damage to yourself. Okay, there we go. I was wondering if it would be worth it. And that is yes. All right. That's pretty cool indeed. So now we can start, and now we still, I think we still get the healing too. Which is awesome. Yeah, we just, great deal of damage. And honestly, the full heal is also incredibly good. Um, in terms of, we have, that totally like nullifies the coffee tripper. So, we can just like, stick our high cost cards into stasis forever. Hyper Beam for 36, that kills you. I'm liking this. We got a cool deck going. King of Greed's pretty cool, cool too. We'll take it. Okay. Wise Brace 8. Still 15 block. 6 hundred sword. If in defense mode. That one's too expensive for my taste. But Piercing Hide is pretty good. Oh, Nosferatu. Oh, actually, they, he changed the sweepers. Which can be bad. I mean, they're not like the funnest. All right. Um, they're all doing two. Oh, and they multi-attack a little bit. How do I want to do this? Reroute piercing hide. Throw that in the stasis. Can't play all these, so we're gonna do curl up. Actually, ends up not mattering here because I cannot get full on the blockage. So we're still gonna take damage no matter what. Okay, Spiker Protocol here. Fiery Bird. AoE. That just gets more powerful. Alright, uh, let's recover Fiery Bird. Throw that up there. Uh, I need to get one of these Grinning Jars upgraded. Be super good. Just so they don't double up on themselves. <sighs> just call Heather of Honor. Good girl. King of Greed has hit a bad set here. Uh, it's going to get Hyper Beam. It does not end up mattering, but it does defeat the purpose. Less Shadow? I want to try. We can change again. I always forget it, but I think we're in a good spot. Ooh. Basic Protocol. Another one. I think the Thorn Protocol or the Spike Protocol is technically better. Um, But... Each throw. Oh, we are gonna take a poke here. I could draw a card and hope to draw the fence. Or I could get both these out. We're taking 21 to the dome. 
Ow. Okay. Are in defensive mode. Pretty good here. Let's grinning first. Free program. The spheric shield up there. I think overall we're fine. Hyper beam here. All right. Overall, I think we're good. We should retain all our block. Yep. Fishing hide. Running. Oh, King of Greed's kind of annoying. Do this. Keep going. Throw that in there. Evasive. Yeah, you're not going to break, break through this. And you're taking 10 damage. We are bleeding now. I can't remember. Bleed is whenever this creature attacks. So I don't want to really attack this turn. Grinning. Oh, King of Greed is in a bad spot. Um, get me Hyper Beam up here. Oh, I can't. Give me this. Can't do that either. Doesn't really matter. We have a ton of block. I think he just killed. Yep, he killed himself. Now she's doing 31, which overall does hurt my feelings. But 45 laser to the dome kind of solves that. Okay, mango is nice. More max HP where we give up a bunch. The compile package is tempting, but I think another recover might be better. Uh, I think, ooh, wasp nest is actually probably one of the better, like, better relics overall. I'm also going to use this the next fight we get in. Adder Drug. Sell potions at merchants. Okay. Bad. Uh, Smith. Couple. A uh, Grinning Jar is just better. Just the best. Alright. Give me this. Upgraded. Give me this roll. Frail. Right. Grinning Jar upgrade here. Fiery Bird is nice. I'm trying to think. I could bust both of those. However, I don't think that helps me. Honestly, there's Spheric Shield up there. It's a weird call, but I think it's going to be the best. Piercing Hide here is good. Recover. Throw me another Fiery Bird up here. Get that AoE go in. We're just going to slap you. Because turn three is where you get a little nasty. In one turn, yeah. And it does tell you that. Oh, that's a unfun king of greed but overall i'll get rid of that one defend i think i can handle it oh spherical shield does not get done as fast as i wanted but all right bird these are done give me these which girl protocol grin reprogram throw the scorch girl back up there can't finish it so I think they do it themselves, though. Yeah, 16 damage on thorns. Very nice. Very nice. Here in a bottle. Um, It's better probably than the speed potion. Got a piercing hide. And then, yep, full HP there. Just lovely, lovely. Uh, yeah, I mean, Hyper Beam is just our kind of... Not our closer, but it's just like a nice finishing touch. Okay, Fiery Bird. That's going to be really good. Reprogram. Um, Scorch Girl up there. Twin Flame on you. Go ahead and Grinning. Um, not the best. Not the best. In terms of, like, defensive capabilities. Okay. Ooh, Hyper Beam here. 33. Does not kill them, though. Reprogram. Spirit here is good. Biker protocol. I think getting the rest of the setup might be better. Oh. That's nasty. Protocol. Armored. Piercing. Yeah, we're going to lose one of the recovers. Which is overall fine, but... Losing the Hyper Beam kind of sucks. I wonder what happens if this guy gets to full, full HP. I've never really seen it. It's definitely an interesting concept. All right, bird back up there. Everything's already in stasis. 18, 16, dead. Oh, he's just going to be dead this turn. And I can play this. It's that one dead. 
Oh, that's not good. Reprogram the Scorched Girl, do this. I can't play those cards, so reroute's just gone. I can't Grinning Jar for some reason either. Oh, I'm just gonna lose all these ones for... No. Is part of the card. Fire bird. Okay. Oh, you, that's how that card works. So we do need to upgrade the other one. 115. Plenty of block here. Throw that up there. I don't want to draw that next. 23 thorns too. That's pretty good. I wonder if the one damage we, we get from when we draw. Yeah, those also trigger it too. Piercing, piercing. Program. Fiery up there. And strike. Do that. 29 thorns. We've technically seen more, but still fun to see when we do. Cover. I'll throw that back up there. Pearl. Back. 282 block, too. We don't even have uh, blur, but we just happen to be able to keep it because we're going into defensive mode so readily. We do take a fair amount from the, the behavior adjustment. Interesting. Throw that in there. And we'll throw that in there. Not end up mattering. Up to 39. And there's this. This should just kill them, right? 22? Nope. All the slimes. I need a bit. I can't play them either, unfortunately. Because they get dropped out so quickly. Curl up. Strike. Defend. When we get some regen this turn. This just ends it. Not bad. I don't think there's anything I want there. Between remove a card from deck, may shuffle into your draw pile at any time. Hmm. The lame way to do it, but this is pretty much a removal. Ah, uh, courtier, and I don't think I need the doom potion. There's not a fight that I'm that afraid, or that I think I could live that long if it mattered. Okay, there we go. Like, how am I going to uh, block here? Invasive. This, draw me a card. I'm just gonna kind of ignore his ability. I'm just gonna let him make me weak or frail. Kinda fine. Uh, Hyper Beam could be fine here, I don't recall. Hide, jar, can't play the other one. Um, Fiery Bird will be good. Spirit Shield. Reroute. The Recover. Defend. Hide. Oh, I can't be made frail. I forgot I had turn up. It's overall. I mean, we're going to be made vulnerable, but... I can deal with that. Okay. Uh, nope. Uh, no. And repul- there's like something to be said about repulsor, but... I don't think it would end up mattering. Hello, machine. This one could be a problem. And we're gonna have plenty of thorns, but... I feel like... Uh, I could have a hand. Um, this thing spits out a lot of guys. And they do a lot of damage. Low health though, so Hyper Beam is going to be very good here. Port Strong in the car. King of Greed here. Not great. Uh, reroute. However, actually, we get them all. I can't do it. Ends up not mattering. Let them thorn themselves, is what I'm thinking. There's one that multi attacks, that'll be a real problem. Are here. Spheric shield is not necessary. More thorns. Alright. 
15 here. Oh, two more already. There's Scorch Girl, though. That's a good one. Number six. Hide, draw, free recover. Throw that up there. So they're gonna. Well, one of them's gonna die. Other one might as well be. Draw, reroute. We need to do some damage on the backliner. Free Hyper Beam. We will probably skip a turn here in a minute. But. Oh, that was unnecessary. There's a process of understanding. That's the one that does the more, like, does more damage overall. Program. Um, wind slam here. Cards. Do this. Do this. Not matter what we put in there. I think he just, he, these two are dead. Yep. And technically, as we play attacks, we're going to gain strength. But I just don't know if it's fast, because of King of Breed, specifically. Um, the universe is more important than those two. I forgot to do this. One, natural one, perfect. Could not have loved it anymore. Alright, bird. Quartz. Quartz girl. Grinning. Program. Reroute. Grinning again. Actually, the natural one will be exhausted here. So, you know what? I can't complain too much about it. It will end up working itself out. Grinning. Girl, I actually don't want to grin again. I'm afraid that I will draw the one I do not want. Reprogram. Sports. Actually, this is it. Oh, and that one the stasis. So we've gained four strength total. Turn ends. In damage. Dual slam. There's another hyper beam. A jar here. Okay. We almost could just like keep repeating. Same. We almost got like a kind of a combo going. Not quite. We're getting very similar hands back to back. Curl up, reroute. Uh, yep. <laughs> Definitely a long term fight here. Ooh, the burns are gonna get annoying. Or there's burn jar. Program. Throw me. I'm greet up there. Jar. I can't play it again. I need to get the other jar upgraded. All right. Seven healing. I mean, we'll be probably full health by the time this fight ends. Scorched. Piercing. Quartz. There's the burn. Which gives us more thorns, which continues the process. Reroute the Scorch Girl, Twin Slam, Free Program, Fiery Bird. We got all these are like our big playmaker cards. Our deck is like 40% Jar of Greed. Alright, do that. Scroll up, reroute, piercing, win, program just to play it. Not matter what I put. This fiery's adding more burns for deck, and they both recycle, which hits us, which hornets. Problem is, that would have been a bad idea. Throw that. Hot. Burn, burn. If I would have gotten um, King of Greed like I just did. I lose the jar of greed now. Nothing can hit me, but this thing never hits back. Alright, fiery. 
scorched. I mean, reprogram. Throw this up there. Oh. Reroute um, the grinning jar, probably. Quartz, hide, hyper beam, curl up. And we wait. 75 a return gets kind of rough to deal with. All right. Fiery birds, 45 now. Flint slam. Oh, I cannot scorch girl here. That's unfortunate because we're going to take a boatload of damage. King of Grade. I think it's just as bad if it gets exhausted here. <laughs> 36 thorns. Ah. Uh, don't know how I get out of this fight. Like, we are slowly chipping away. That is true. However, not very quickly. I guess eventually our attacks are just powerful enough where it doesn't matter. I can't play Jar of Greed for some reason. I haven't played another Jar of Greed yet, but who knows? Twin Slam. Curl up. That. Okay. And so we'll draw the same hand every turn. Twin Slam, Program Hyper Beam, Reroute, Piercing Hide, Roll Up, Five Minutes. Seems like we can averagely produce about the same hand every turn. Program, Reroute, Twin Slam, Port, Roll Up, Fragment, Boom. Yeah, there's stuff outside the screen, but. 50 thorns it doesn't there's nothing that they can do that scares me really sorry twin slam i guess the only thing that could like really hurt is if we run out of attacks so i guess i always want to make sure i play the attack if it's in front of hand agreed but it's, it's almost like we do the same amount of damage and we gain the same amount of block. Burn cycle through, dealing me damage. Okay, where's the... We did not get it this time. Throw that up there. Fiery bird. Hyper beam for 88. I mean, it is four times our strength. So it does, like, behoove me not to play it. Even if it skips our turn. Something's hitting me. Okay, there's the greed. Not matter too much. See if I can get hyper beam again. Yep. Okay, there we go. 46. We've about made it. More good round of attacks. There's hyper beam. 88. Bash. Piercing hide, that kind of was the wrong instead of, you know what, get me out of this fight. Ah, it was a long one. Um, part of each combat. That seems interesting. Go so max HP up by two, lose four at the start of each combat. Overall, that's fine because we heal. No, we don't have no stasis slots. We heal at the beginning every time we enter a uh, rest. There's the natural one that I, I want to immediately exhaust. Piercing hide. Defend. There's to go recover. Piercing hide. Recover again. Another recover. Gets past the back step. This is a doppelganger one, so. Let's see if we can get everything going. Evasive, piercing. Okay, 17 here. He's gonna end up hurting himself more than me. Cover. And throw Hyper Beam up there. Jar, jar. That's most of our powers right there. Oh, Scorching Girl kind of sucks here. 
It's fine. I should have done it the other way around. I'll throw a spiker up there. Yeah. There's King of Greed. Not in the right order, though. We also did not get a very good hand. I cannot play that. Go up's not going to specifically get me where I want. Fine, do the damage. Play that. 36, I think we're... Oh yeah, it's only 30. He's going to take a ton. Wait, don't poke me. There's the armor protocol. Alright. We should be good just to... Kind of enjoy the rest of the fight. And... Got our, some of our big power cards up in our stasis slots. Big power play. Natural one here kind of sucks. It also sucks that it hurts us and then leaves our hand. Reprogram does not matter. matter. 20 damage. We're up to 94. Alright. Big damage hand. Fiery bird first, and grin here. There's the natural one. Another grin. Grin spherical here. Pretty good. One to keep all my lock and check. Hyper beam. Forge girl. I could have twin sun first for the one temporary strength. Piercing hide. Put something in the station. I think we're good to, to pass a turn too. Yep, that's fine. And they killed themselves. Works out. Nothing here. All stasis field now. You have one more for game one strike. That's pretty good. Sorry, upgraded too. Uh, one attack. But we'll put cards in the stasis and they'll kill. Eh. I think earlier I just have slaver's collar. Normal enemy fights we're doing fine then. Also, natural one. Is this part of our deck? Not be removed. We should go ahead and try to get the shop fight done, I think. How many elites? I can get two. Three. But I don't get a shop, guaranteed. I think I want the guaranteed shop unless we get one right here. Pick that key. Put that card. Actually, free action. Put the quartz in something. Get it out of our deck. Reprogram. That'll draw me a card too. Myth this other grinning jar. You are annoying otherwise. Nope. In two strength at the start of your third turn. I will do that, sure. I don't think I've seen Lowell's gift. Lowell's. Also, can I do this again? I can. I didn't realize I could I should have been doing that. Um construction form's great here, I think. Piercing hide. Oh we have ten, we need fifteen. I will lose one of the buffers, that's fine. Overall I'm fine with that. So we should be gaining strength, right? And game one right oh one of our cards hurt us I think I don't know which one did but that's kind of annoying the construction form is actually very bad you're telling me that all works really well Buffer. I don't think I have a buffer though. Ah. Huh. Um. This. A lot of stuff I need to play here. Cover back this. Buried shield. Pretty good. Do it. Overall should be good. And we took one more there too. Okay, probably because we're bleeding. Piercing. Piercing. Grinning. 
right, we'll hit him now. Fine, throw the fiery bird back. We're a natural one. That third grin. Two strength and one dex. I don't even see the two strength that we got. Is this guy make me lose strength? Why is my hand random too? Grinning. Grinning. He should die here, but I missed something. Or thorns would be good, but four tier always pretty nice. All right, shopkeep. How do you do? Uh, we really want to get yeah, get down to where we can hopefully uh, be braced next turn. Looks like we'll be able to. Piercing hide here, very good. Bren. Bren. Great. Do this. Um, I'd rather play hyper beam. Honestly, that's the best call here. And I mean, we'll gain more block here just to do so. Oh, that actually worked out better. All right. Ton of damage here. And very little damage here. Draw a card. I mean, there's Twin Slam. Construction form, not that great. Biker Protocol, also not great. Let's play some of these just to get them out. Um, is there any other besides this? This is 52. Can I do better? A oh, fiery bird. Yes, I mean. He's gonna leave now. Fell steal and then leave. Same turn. Good. One more turn, but not get there. Ah uh, ooh, time capacitor is very good. Makes our turns a little bit more explosive. And then Donu's washer. I have game for that. And then another time capacitor. Do that. More powers, why not? Alright. Did not get exactly what we wanted, but. We're starting to get set up. Time, evasive, armored. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, we need to be doing this more. Only on first turn. Draw, hyper beam that kills all but one, and then I'll do this and hit that too. Okay, none of those. Enhance, and does it really matter? Just get it out of the deck. I'll get you upgraded. Nonsense, Sneko card. Continue puzzle. It's fine. I think that I probably should have went to the question mark one. Overall may have been better to um if I can find a shop. I don't have many chances. Well we got one right here. That might be good to do. Overall. Judgment bird. Uh whenever you play a card that costs one or less, increase its cost by one. I'm gonna play a bunch of stuff. Get that go in. Jar, Biker, Grinning, that's fine. Oh, four strength on you? Not good. Fiery, Piercing, Recover, Throw, Scorch Girl up there. And then we'll block again. Let's see, time capacitor, time capacitor. Piercing hide, grinning jar. Yeah, this is kind of where we wanted to end up being. Bunch of slots, we can continuously throw stuff up here. Get stuff back for free. Uh, twin slam is fine. Grinning jar, that's kind of annoying. The voids are also very annoying. Oh, well there goes all of our plans here. Ooh, he tried, but his attack is not strong enough. Construction form. 
All right, we got the two buffer. The question is, how long can I keep it before something does damage just straight to ourselves? I'll throw Nasser one up there. Uh, we did not. Okay, our buffer stayed. So that ended up working really well. Grinning jar here. This sucks here. All this is going to be exhausted. I'm going to pre-program ahead of time. But I'd like to keep that and we'll keep a basic defend. Everything else is gone. Good and bad. I think piercing hide by both of these. Be grinning jar. I think fiery burr. No, twin slime's gonna end up being better as our strength goes up more. Oh, that sucked. Okay, we did already lose both of our buffers. Just the construction form is not very good for us. Overall, we are going to take a bunch of damage. Actually, I'm gonna block that. And then we'll recover again. Throw a piercing hide up there. His effect's really actually pretty annoying. Take some damage here, but he takes a bunch too. 15, spherical shield. Twin slam. Reprogram the reroute. Hide here. Recover here. Uh, throw the pre-program back. I mean, throwing stuff into stasis and getting it back for free will end up probably being the way we get out of this fight. Because overall, it's just kind of going to be like a annoyance for a twin slam here. Both under paralysis. Not fun. Reroute. Piercing hide. Um, twin slam here. Oh, he will die next time he hits us. Fifty-one. I mean, he was putting up a good effort, but I get to it. Another the yeah. Sapphire is actually pretty good, and we will get another rest right here. So let's throw that in one of these piercing hides. Just more brace overall. Um, spiker protocol. More thorns is pretty good, and we stay in defensive mode quite often. Oh, there's the other shopkeep. That's what I wanted to see. Pre-program. I really wanted that sooner. Oh, this is a a bad, no good, not fun hand. Porch girl. Actually, he's just dead. I was like, how did my math not work out correctly? But actually, fun. nothing there. Um, none of those either. Harden might actually be takeable now, but I think it's fine. Ooh. Yeah, let's just do that. That's 25 souls. And then we're going to get rid of whatever it gave us. If I can find it. Not give me like a bad card. Oh, sickly. Yeah, no, we don't want that. I'm gonna choose a character now. Ornamental fans, not bad, but eh. Future plan is also not bad either, but I really wanted to steal the rug. Oh, that crashed the game. Be right back. All right, jumping back in. Let's see if the crash killed us. Yep. Unfortunate. All right. So this is where we will have to end. Um, continuing does not work. Um, something about the shopkeep has been broken. So unfortunately we do not get to finish the run. I think we would have won anyway, but we have been bested by the shopkeep once again. Um, I guess the invisible, uh, call out should have been like told me it wasn't going to work, but I had to try. I thought we definitely had for once a good enough setup with the thorns and stuff to deal with him. So unfortunate that's how it ends, but. That's what happens when you mod, but I had a lot of fun. I really like the um, the fiery bird relic. Um, definitely would be something I would use again. A um, little difficult to get to that point, but you know, something like the giant head or some other like uh, boss with a lot of health. It's definitely pretty doable. Um, and it synergized very well with what we were doing. But that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, 
please hit that like button. Let me know what you're enjoying. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.